this is the Phyto bag, which is a first responder bag that uh, this is designed especially for combat situations that go over to the canine teams in Afghanistan. Uh, and I supply it with a lot of uh, items that will get them from an emergency situation to their medic, awaiting medic that might load them into a helicopter to get them into the veterinarian, which is usually, there's usually a, quite a bit of lapse of time there. So we provide them with uh, splints, there's burn sheets, uh, saline rinse, uh, all types of bandages, gauzes, peroxide, we've got blankets. This is the biggest uh, part of the bag. This is a cone-shaped oxygen um, mask that the handler on the field does not have accessibility to oxygen, but the awaiting medic in a helicopter does. But the medic does not have accessibility to the oxygen mask designed especially for dogs, nor a canine endotracheal tube. So what I do is inside the phyto bag, is, an, is a bag inside the bag and this bag is labeled especially for the medic. You've got the endotracheal tube, the lubrication in order to insert the tracheal tube, and the oxygen mask. So these are these are really the the biggest bang for your buck in in the bag. This this is what could save a lot of lives is, is right here. The Department of Defense statistic is that for every deployment of a K-19, which is usually th usually three to six months, they are responsible for saving 1,082 lives, and 500 of those being military. So they are also responsible for a lot of civilian lives saved. So he would find anything that they could make into anything that could blow up. So Jig um, was trained to be all off leash, um, to listen to his handler all off leash. Now. So if they were going through a village um, they, and were going through homes, um, they would send Jig in first um, and let him alert. And if there was an alert that he, he was giving, then they would come in and, and search the, the house to find what they were looking for, what he, he found.